Hi there, I'm Chris Woods from Daily STEM. And did you ever wonder how you could do STEM with your kids in just five minutes? You may not have all day or five days or, or five weeks to do a project with your kids, but we can use those little bits of time in between all those other important things that we have to teach our kids to amplify and multiply the STEM learning that's happening in our classrooms. So here's a few ideas to get you started. Number one, use transition times to your advantage. When kids are coming into your classroom, maybe put an interesting puzzle or, or a challenge up on the board just to get them thinking as they're coming in. Or maybe it's a puzzle where they have to figure out missing numbers or, or what's the possible route through all these things. Whatever it is that maybe just gets your kids thinking, they'll even start talking with their neighbors, they'll even start to collaborate together. And when their minds start going right at the beginning of your class, they're gonna be all the more ready for everything else that you have to teach them during that day. Now, number two, think about those times in the middle of class when the kids are starting to drift off. This is the perfect time to pull up a video that maybe you saw on social media or on YouTube, something where people are using interesting STEM. And in fact, a lot of your kids are going to find some great videos and start suggesting them to you as they've done for me so many times. Mr. Woods, watch this video. It's really cool. I think all the kids in our class would love it. And there's so many great creators of content out there. It's so easy to find some of those things that connect back to your kids' interest. And you can also look for pictures of things that, that inspire some sort of, of thought process. And maybe it's you pulling out your phone and snapping a picture of interesting things you see at the store or out taking a walk or in, in your community and getting kids thinking about how was STEM involved in that process. And number three, leave your kids hungry for more. There are so many things that once we start getting kids excited about STEM, they're gonna start asking more questions. We may not always have that extra time that we need to do that. So get kids used to writing down some of those ideas or have a, have a chart or a, a space on your wall where you can write down things we want to learn more about. And when a kid sparks an idea, throw that up there. And then whenever you've got those spare bits of time, let's say, let's start diving into one of those things and see what we can learn about this. For more of Chris's daily STEM practices and insight, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and grab free resources at dailystem.com and everfi.com K-12.